the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. I like this, that's my title there. The Glorious Resurrection Day. And we do, based on time, I'm gonna I'm skip like the Lord's Prayer. Matter of fact, I, matter of fact, I do the Lord's Prayer real quick. Watch this, watch this. Everybody, remember, you always wanna pray, and you pray daily. <laughs> so let's go ahead, and I'm gonna do that real quick too. You know, Christ, it is written that Christ gave us a pattern or method to pray. He didn't say to do it this way. He just said you should do it in the matter of this way. And the matter of the fact is that he said, after this man never pray, our Father, which on heaven mean I'm a child of God, because I'm, if I'm gonna call somebody my father, let me not tell me I'm their child. And therefore, he's telling every last one of us that when we pray to the Father, we pray as children of God, which he was killed for. Hmm. Hallowed be thy name, glorifying him. That's why we said there's a glorious resurrection day, because we glorify the Father. That's what Christ always did. He glorified the Father. Thy kingdom come, meaning God is our king. And his way, his system is the one that we must operate in, not in the system of the world. Thy will be done. Even Christ said, Lord, nevertheless, let thy will be done. And I know one thing, his will was to go preach the good news, not to preach the hate, not to preach the evilness and the nastiness that we see people do and sit there and try to glorify their own flesh. No, -uh. we glorify Father. That will be done in earth. See, I'm saying this for those of you who don't know the brother, does that make sense, brother Adam? It's said in earth, his will, right? In earth as it is in heaven. So those of you that are to be shining the light then you should shine the light based on his will not your will and if you're racist and i'm, I'm telling you i call you for what it is i'm talking about i don't care whether you're black or white some people say well if i'm black i can't be racist if you hate a person for the mere color of their skin or for where they came from if you hate them because they're short or you hate them because they're tall, you ain't doing his will. That's not the system they came from. He said, in earth, you're supposed to do his will. Christ came and did what the Father said. So in earth, as it is in heaven, he said, give us this day. That means he wants you to pray daily. And you, like I said, if you don't know how to pray, use the manner that he gave you. But he said, give us this day our daily bread, which is the word of God. Same thing as his will is his word of God. If you do that daily, you will be blessed. He said to forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debt to us. Because the fact is, <laughs> hey. Let, 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 let the world let you know. Those people that hate people, those people that hate me, hate Brother Azra because of the color of skin, we forgive you. Let you understand that. Why? Because I want to be forgiven for the things I've done. I ain't got time to waste my time on you. If you want to continue to hate, you want to continue to have issues, you do that. Because I'm going to tell you something. You're forgiven by me because I ain't got time for you. Amen. <laughs> the other thing, and then he said, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom. Once again, his kingdom and the power, his power. A lot of people sitting there trying to get the White House, trying to get the Senate, trying to get the Congress, trying to trying to conquer things. The real power is God. His power is everlasting. All those kingdoms that were before us have been what wiped out, diminished, no longer there. But his power and then his glory. His glory is eternal. And therefore, if you want glory, let God glorify you as you glorify him. But you trying to glorify yourself, you're trying to glorify your flesh, you're in trouble. You need help. And the other piece says, 15, he said, forgive if you forgive men, not their trespass, and neither have a father forgive you. But if you give men, not their trespass, neither have a father forgive your trespasses. So you need to make sure you understand that. And then move forward with that and understand that this resurrection day is also a forgiveness day. Huh? Because he died and he, 
he paid the price. That's redemption too, right? He paid the price. This, hey, bro, that, that's a good day to celebrate right there. Uh, oh, he paid by, he paid for me. His blood paid for our sins. His blood paid for our redemption. <laughs> see how, you see how you can really, when you start thinking about what the, the whole purpose of this day, of at least honoring him for what he did, but you should do it every day. And that's why he gave us the Lord's Prayer. It's because we have been redeemed. And I did put that Romans 14, 12 again, so every one of us, people, can you hear the words that are coming out of my mouth? Uh, you can hear me, can't you, Brother Addison? And it says, every, so then, you want to do it? You give it to it, brother. What, what's that? What's that? You do it for it. This is Romans 14, 12. Can, can you explain that to everybody? Because that's why I'm happy about redemption and redeeming. Go ahead. So then every one of us shall give an account of himself to God. <laughs> hey, and, and, and look, uh, can, we pay, can, can we pay for the price of all our messed up stuff that we got to give account to? No, we cannot. Uh-uh, it, it's, it's not adding up, right? <laughs> we, we can. <laughs> I know your brother. <laughs> we can. <laughs> but we can accept the payment. <laughs> it, it's like it's like a car payment. It's somebody that's going to pay for the bill. It's like somebody paying for your meal. It's somebody paying for you. And the thing about it, the, the blessing for the meal is great. But you and I agree, we talking about pay for that mortgage, pay for that, pay for that car. Uh, the debt is too high. It's too high. He paid the price because we couldn't do it. And that's why I think you can use this day as a celebration day. Every last one of you gonna hear this, you're gonna hear it today. You, my, I'll send this one out. I'm gonna send, I know I'm gonna send out the first 30 minutes anyway. <laughs> But the, but the rest of them come out to the rest of the week. But the whole point is, uh, is that I could not pay the price. Brother Addison couldn't pay the price. And everybody who's listening to me and everybody we see on the street and everybody that's going to worship today, you did, couldn't pay the price. He had to pay the price. We was redeemed because of his sacrifice. And he laid, his sacrifice wasn't people it wasn't like, what you call it, Brother Addison? One of those how, you know, you take an animal and you put them on the, on the altar and then and, and, and it's him. He, he went through a ritual. No, he his sacrifice is laying down his life for us and allowing people to do what they wanted to do, anything they thought they wanted to do to him. You know, it, it's almost like you you a little three-year-old come up there trying to beat Brother Addison and, 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 and whip him, you know? But but he can't. But if Brother Addison laid down his life, and listen, look the latest that what if you let a kid have a big rock in his head, hand, even a three-year-old, and you just lay down and, and you don't move, uh, it'll hurt you. <laughs> yeah. It'll hurt you. So that's, and I think that's the best easy way to equate it is he laid down his life. Those people didn't have a chance of being able to take him out. He laid down his life for every last one of us. And that's another reason of celebrating today. Not, 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 I, and I understand most people probably not even thinking about the Easter money or, or thinking about the Easter eggs. And they, most of them do it the day before anyway, but that's going to them do it today, I guess. But just remember and make sure your kids know that this is about a redemption, a forgiveness for the world. Amen? Now, look at my title, brother. I told you the title already, and, and I'm going to put it back up there for everybody to see. But then I'm going to get you, I'm going to hit you good with a scripture uh, that you love. Like I said, let me put this back up here first. You love this scripture. Got a couple of them, really. <laughs> like, like I said, the title everybody is Teaching the Gospel Yeshua's Way. It is written. Glory is resurrection day, which is not written. But the part is written is that Christ died for the ungodly, which is in Romans 5, 6. Everything we want to talk about is going to be based on what is written. 
So with that in mind, here's the first one for you, good brother. You love this one. Go ahead. Uh, could I talk about this is victorious, right? Glorious. Huh? So, so what you got? Now this, I say, <clears throat> this I say, brother, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Uh-uh. Neither does corruption inherit incorruption. Oh, really? Behold, I show you a mystery. Come on now. We shall not all sin, uh -huh. but we shall all be changed. Oh. That's a great thing, right? There. Yes, sir. In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye. Yes, sir. At the last trump, mm. for the trumpet shall sound. Yes, sir. And the dead shall be raised incorruptible. Come on now. And we shall be changed. Come on. For this corruptible must put on incorruption. Uh -huh. And this mortal must put on immortality. Mm. Oh, that's good. I may hit one too fast. Okay. Go ahead. That so, hit it right? Yeah, there you go. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption. Okay. And this mortal shall have put on immortality. Yes. Then shall be brought to pass the hey. thing that it is written. <laughs> death is swallowed up in victory. Yes. Oh, death. Uh, where is thy mistake? Come on now. Oh grave, Woo. where is thy victory? Come on now. The sting of death is sin. Yes. And the strength of sin is the law. Yes. But thanks be to God. Thanks which be to gives God. Us up the victory through the our victory. Lord, Yeshua, Amashiach, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be you steadfast. What? Unmovable. Yes. Always abounding in the works of the Lord. Come on now. For as much as we know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. In the Lord. Now we don't come off that now. If you want to bring your computer so you can see that, but you can talk about that in that second. But I, I want them to hear. <laughs> I want them to see this brother. Because what do you think about it? I'm, I'm going to come off a little bit, people. Just, just, just. I, I'm looking at it, Brother Az, so I can still keep analyzing. Do you want to put it on your computer so you can see it? Yeah. Um, yeah. The uh, first thing I wanted to mention was <laughs> everyone <laughs> is putting on incorruption. Yes. Yes. Those who yes. are in Christ uh -huh. and those who are not. Because he came for all of us, didn't he? Uh-huh. Yeah, because everyone's mm. receiving come on a glorified now. body. Yes, sir. But the one that you want come on. is the one for eternal life. Come on now. <laughs> Not eternal damnation. No. There's two glorified mm. bodies. One mm. is to withstand torment come on now. throughout the end of times. Well, there is no time. <laughs> this is just for, for eternity. This is for yeah, for, yeah. for eternity. Mm. So there's that. Yes, sir. The, the other thing is to understand that only through Christ only is this possible. Come on now. Because if you stick to the law, the law bringeth sin, it is. and it is the strength yeah. of sin. It mm -hmm. is the strength of death. Yes. It is the strength of the grave. Come on now. That's the law. That's the law. And, and so when people are all hyped up on the law, mm -hmm. that's what they're hyped up on. They're hyped up on death mm -hmm. and they're hyped up on the grave. Come on. Because without Christ, come on, <laughs> death has its victory. Death, death has its victory. Yeah. Death is victorious. Uh huh. <laughs> so you can choose Woo. to be on the side of victory. Come on now. Or you can choose to be this on the side of defeat. Woo! Sound like a sound of death. Uh huh. Free will is Woo. still an option. Come on. Even in that, yes, God sir. is not going to make you receive. Nope. 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 
that that's what's so awesome about it. And yet, we still blame everything mm. on Christ. Yes, sir. I mean, yeah. on God. We yeah. blame it on God. Yeah, yeah. And you know, and, you know what ahead. came what came to mind when you think about it was that when Moses came down from that hill, that mountain, and he saw those people acting like a fool. He sat there and told those people who's on the Lord's side. Remember, he said, "Who, who, 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 who who's going to read? Who's going to get right? Who's ready to stand on the right side?" Yeah. And, and 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 you know, most of those people came on the side of where he was. And then you know, he told them to go there and get their swords. <laughs> yeah. And, and he, some people paid the price for what they did. But the point is. It's all, I like what you're saying because it's it's a daily choice to choose victory or to choose death or to choose right or to choose death. And I, and the fact is that this this is why this is so good. And the fact is that you are moving from corruption to incorruption just by receiving the redemptive plan. But it's a choice. And, and I said that call us a glorious resurrection day. It's because of the scripture was saying is, oh death, where's that sting? Yeah, where is it? Come on now, oh grave, where is that victory? You don't have a victory. Christ has the victory. Christ gave and died for, and I like that part of myself. I'm gonna this is in the scripture that we get to it, is for the ungodly. That's why we can celebrate. It's like, it's like a football game, people. Sports. The, he crossed the, the, the end zone. He crossed what well, he crossed the goal line. And every last one of us now are easy to go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Look, hey, I caught the ball, but y'all come on in across the cross to go. <laughs> you know how you had like some of the football players with, with one pass, one, one, one score, all, a whole bunch of going to the end zone. The whole team score. <laughs> the whole team score. Like if one, one cross that, and only one can take that ball across the line. Only Ooh, one. Only one. But the entire team, that's including those on the field and those off the field. Those in the uh, that, that's not even down on the field come on they're associated yes sir with that come victory uh-huh then they have the victory they got the victory. not only the team members get a ring <laughs> everybody associated with that team gets, gets a, a ring. ring yes yeah that's, yep. that's what's awesome about that <laughs> but 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 that's just a a parable but that is a parable though isn't it I mean, that's a good parable, isn't it? If you yeah. think about it, only one need to cross the goal line. Once that person crosses the goal line, everybody else gets the point for that on yeah. that team. And Christ, one, one, laid his life down. Laid his life down. And he didn't take it. But brother, that's very important, isn't it? They, nobody took it. He laid his life down. And even death, that's what that's what that scripture will put it back up in. That's what that scripture sit there and say. Oh death, wait a minute, death, let, let's talk about you. Let's talk about you because you're a bad boy. He, he he takes out people all the time, don't he? He been doing it for a while. He said, oh, oh verse uh, 1 Corinthians 15, 55, oh death. Yeah. Where's where is that it? sting? Oh grave. Where's that victory? Where's that victory? Meaning you still got him, don't you? Is he st is he still in it? You know, those, those are people that's been in those tombs in the graves y'all see out in the, by your church or in the, the funeral homes or the mortuaries or the cemeteries, whatever you call them places. Uh, they still got bodies in them. Yeah. You ain't gonna find his. They, you know, but right after they even try to find his one. You know, many times they try to find, they look for him. Oh yeah, uh, they 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 they're still looking for the art <laughs> covenant. They're still looking for for the uh, matter of fact. I heard they said they they think they found the, the art. The, yeah. The, yeah, the art. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it, it's just there's just uh, a lot of things 
that uh, people are saying that they have found, mm -hmm. and whether they found it or not, yeah, yeah, it still doesn't negate the fact. Come on now, that Christ fulfilled. Yes, the sir. Law. Yes, sir. And in doing so, <laughs> he became the perfect Woo. sacrifice. Yes, sir. Yes, he is. And willingly did so. <laughs> Yes, he did. And so, if this were not true, Woo. Mm. the Bible says we are really Come wasting on. our time. We waste that. And I, I brought that scripture in there. Without that. <laughs> Come because on. Even with the law, it's still a waste of time. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of time. And I understand. And that's why, that's why I think, and I really want people to help us believers but I have asked other believers, go by the doctrine of Christ because you're really hurting our ministry of preaching because we sit there and talk about Christ, preaching the gospel, but all people do is point back to the fruit, people. Because this is, a, this is a, 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 a unified body of Christ message, isn't it? And if you part of the body, preach the gospel because the people are looking well, ministries anyway. There's a lot of ministries you're not preaching the gospel. You're, you're, you're preaching hate. You're preaching disdainment. You're preaching uh, dissatisfaction. You, you're preaching, you're trying to do things by the law instead of trying to do it by the love. You think that you can do it by the flesh. You think you can do it by the law, but you can't. This is Resurrection Day. I'm going to keep saying that throughout our platform today. This is Resurrection the Day. The bottom line, it is without teaching the gospel, mm -hmm. you're basically a soundless instrument. Yeah. You are, it's, it, it is a, a waste of time Woo. to go and learn mm, mm, about mm. the law mm. or to go and learn about this world and this world system. You, you don't have to get an education to know what corruption is. Yes. Just live. Just you live. Know, uh, uh, the law is what the law is, but the problem is the law keepers don't even keep the law. They don't. They didn't. They didn't. They, they, we well, told them that in the cover of scripture. Maybe we'll agree that sometimes, but the fact that he said, don't do what, you hear what they say, but don't do what they do. Don't do what they do. And, and, and this goes for earthly laws as well. As well. Yeah. You know, so without, you know, Without the redemptive work of, of Christ, we 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 teach in vain. We teach in vain. We live in vain. Yes, because, sir. And without the the purpose of the true purpose, we should be celebrating mm. for this mm. holiday. Come on now. For this day of of of, of uh, celebration, I should yeah. say. Mm -hmm. If he didn't rise from the dead, then we are still, We're still teaching in vain. Yes, sir. Because he is the first mm. to receive the glorified body. Mm -hmm. He's the first to be risen of the dead. Yes, sir. Which is the entire purpose of this teaching. That mm -hmm. the, the entire book is based on that. It's all the based Old on Testament that. Testament is to teach types and shadows of that. Come on now. It's to keep a, a group of people in remembrance of what is prophesied mm. by God in the garden. Come on now. It, it, it's, it's just the fullness of times has to take place 
in order for that prophecy that God spoke in the garden. Yes, sir. To Adam, to Eve, and to Satan. Mm. And so when Christ, when the fullness of time for Christ to be born, he had to be born of a man to fulfill yeah. the requirements that met what God said in the garden. Yes, sir. And to be a a replacement for all mankind. He's still so, in the gap. He's still in the gap for us. So, so for him to 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 do that willingly was was awesome just yes, just to come down from the throne and from the, the the position that he held and to be born of a of a woman come on and to live a life outside of glory mm. and to be wrapped in corruptible mm. flesh it's under the head to that yeah he 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 will had to die one way or the other. Yeah. But when you really think about it, which is a whole nother story, he was not born into sin. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because he wasn't born he was a seed with, of Adam. with Adam's blood. He was right. born with the blood of God, exactly. which was not tainted which put yeah. him before mm -hmm. Adam, mm -hmm. which made him the first yeah. Adam. Yeah, he, he's the first, that, what is that, well, he's the first of uh, being resurrected, right? Resurrection, yeah. right? Uh, yeah. Because Adam himself, he, his seed, if you think about it, right? Because that's what they compare those two, is that his seed, his seed, him, him himself, yeah. was not tainted yeah. until he jacked it up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. There was no so, need for any of this until he sinned against God. Exactly. Then the Bible came. Come on now. <laughs> then there was a need for the word of God. Hey, look, Dad, Daddy had said it. Daddy had to step in now yeah. and, and said, let me fix this. Let me fix this. You know? And in fact, look at this one. Because I, 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 it's so important. You Last week you were talking about if this gospel would be here, you know? Uh, it'll be here to those who are perishing, and 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 people. I think that the blessing and and of, of, of people doing the work in the ministry, all of us. See, I'm, I'm talking about the whole body of ministers, correct? To go do the work in the ministry is to show the light, the glorious light that comes from Christ. And and this right here, let's read that for us, good brother. I, I, I know you love this one too because it all lines up with where we're coming from. We, we're trying to tell you what the purpose of this Resurrection Sunday is. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.